Libby here. Today I'm going to do a what's in my fridge for you guys. Uh, as part of my challenge for July, a few people on the Fat to Glam uh, video channel thing <laughs> have done a tour of their fridge. So I thought I might join along because I did one back last year, I think about October, on a vegetarian fridge sort of point of view. So I thought I'd show you again what's in my fridge. Uh, today I haven't prepped the fridge or anything, so this is what's in it. <laughs> Let's go. It probably will start beeping because it does when the doors are left open. So this is obviously our very much our family fridge. Always chock a block full. So I'll start over here. I have my oh, there you see it, my very favourite hummus, which you've if you've followed here for a while, you know I love. We have light sour cream, a lush face mask. <laughs> Let's go cook in the fridge. We have some mayonnaise, which I don't have, but um, Amy and Kevin will have that. There, and there's another one at the back there as well, a different type in this range. We have some double cream. No sugar in double cream. I don't try to have a lot of it though. Uh, there's two spare butters. I'll put out. Two spare butters back there. Organic spreadable butter. I'll show you the one we've got using at the moment and that's just a dip um, sometimes Kevin likes to have a dip and that one goes to 22nd July so he needs to eat it sort of the next few weeks I guess that's sweet potato and cashews I don't know what that's like so and there's um a boiled egg in there <laughs> one boiled egg there we go beeping now <laughs> so at the back I've got some dates and they're not normally the ones I buy I normally get ones from my local fruit shop these I think were coals. My fruit shop didn't have any for a while, so I bought these. I'm supposed to keep these in the fridge. I don't keep the other ones in the fridge, um, but it does obviously extend their life. But these are because they've been in the fridge, they're quite hard. So I don't, I'm just sort of keeping them maybe to use in the almond milk. And obviously, I have the list balls or date balls that I made with some of the um, dates. A bit of grated cheese. You'll see we do have a cheese drawer. We have a lot. We do eat a lot of cheese in this family. I guess being vegetarian, we do like our cheese. Um, also sugar free. Uh, I mean that was two salsas because Amy opened a second one. So that's one I actually had bought more for as a dip but she opened it yesterday. A mayonnaise that we have. So it's a full fat mayonnaise but it's one with um, free range eggs which are, there's not too many with the free range eggs. Uh, Amy really likes that. I'll have it a little bit sometimes if I do it as like a stuffed egg but usually I have hummus on everything. So We have I bought these when we were going out a few weeks ago and we didn't take both of the containers so I've still got those. So I guess they have a pretty long life. Yeah, February next year so they're probably handy to have as a standby. There's a diet ginger beer that's Kevin's and we have some of these um, vegetarian bites. This is probably our favourite one. These are from Woolworths, the macro range from Woolworths. Haven't had them for a while because I've just been using my frozen ones that I've recently discovered. But these are pretty nice. And these ones are curried, curried pumpkin and corn balls. So they're both nice to have. And I've also nearly always have some of these um, vegetable burgers as a standby in the fridge. We chop them up and put them in a stir fry, or you can make like a burger out of them. So this is Kevin's lime soda water. Um, I guess I'm going to chuck that out. Oh, when I was being a little naughty and having some lemonade, it's been, uh, I haven't had any all week. Uh, custard the girls want to, but I don't think anyone's touched it. It feels like it's full. <laughs> what always happens. Now the salsa. I've got two pints of strawberries there. Some full fat milk. Christy and I have the 2% and Amy and Kevin have the full fat. Kevin likes the full fat for his coffee. He's tried all the others and deems full fat the only one that works. So we've got some um, beetroot in there, which we chop up and put in salads or on a sandwich. Some pasta that's <laughs> the dogs. <laughs> we, they have whole meal pasta. And like one bag as you do some two nights with other stuff that they have. So I've got half a rock melon and a half a pineapple there. I bought the pineapple thinking I might do some juice, but I haven't done any yet, so I might just chop it up and eat it. And some rock melon, red grapes. Christy and I both eat the red grapes. Uh, Amy only has green. Some lettuce, it's all a wash and ready to do with my salads. This is like a little yogurt tub. So Mind you, I'm not sure if I'm going to eat these chobanis. I bought them, but they've got quite a bit of sugar in them. But I kind of feel they're not too bad, so I haven't decided on them yet. Um, Amy likes vanilla yogurts. Kevin likes banana yogurts. So there's a few different types of yogurts in there. 
I don't. I never ever liked normal yogurt, um, but I did like these Chobani ones. And I bought a pear and a blood orange to try. But as I said, I'm not sure. Probably better having that than having something else if I get really um, in the mood for something because they do take a long time to eat too. So they're quite a, a good thing like that. Okay, we have eggs from our own chickens. <laughs> There's some cream in there, which we um, sometimes put on some strawberries. Again, being sugar-free, trying to sort of put a little bit of cream, especially with the aerator, you don't use up a lot of cream in one go. So I've got some more milks there. Watermelon, Jessie loves her watermelon. Um, there's a cauliflower, half a pumpkin. What else have got back there? Oh, and some spare blocks of cheese. <laughs> I don't fit in my cheese drawer. I buy the big box and grate them myself, so I um, prefer the, that to the pre-bought grated stuff. It's pretty horrid. So we've got some spinach. Uh, well, we've got some, here is some celery and a bit of beetroot. Again, they're for juicing or the celery I can use in a soup. This is where I usually have my salad stuff. It's getting a bit low in supplies, so I've got some cherry tomatoes, cucumber. I love these bags of the beetroot slaw. Amy and I, we go through a lot of these. <laughs> Um, so it's got carrot, beetroot and zucchini, I believe, in, in that. Uh, let me check carrot. Yeah, broccoli stem, carrot and beetroot. We really enjoy that. They're great for putting on a salad or in a wrap, so they're just really easy to use. Um, I do grate my own salad, grate my own carrot sometimes, but not the other two. So, And we have some oh, cucumber there and the trio sprout selection. So you've got your alfalfa and what the little two sprouts are in there. Amy's got really good at having salads lately, so most days Amy and I will have a salad for lunch. All right, this is the cheese drawer. <laughs> so we have laughing cow cheese. I don't usually have a light one, but I didn't have any of the full fat one uh, when I bought it. Uh, I put that on some cruskets. It's something like a little crunch of something that's good. That's the Mersey Valley cheese, which um, is a, probably a family favourite. We use that for cheese on toast, or sometimes Christy will cut some of that up to have with crackers. That's her very favourite cheese. I've got some mozzarella grated cheese, which we did homemade pizza a few weeks ago. That's a leftover. So, two lots of Gouda cheese. I <laughs> always didn't realise. Christy likes that one too. And this is um, the apricot and nut. Not that one. We usually get a big round one for Kevin. He really likes that. Um, I like it too, but obviously I'm trying to have it at the moment with the dried um, fruit in it. Uh, it's got a long life anyway to November. But yeah, I thought it was a good, a smaller size. So we're having a cheese plate at the weekend. We haven't got lots left over. Kevin bought this um, pear paste a few weeks ago. Uh, Mersey Valley cheese. Chris uses that on a crust And just have like some spare things back here. So I've got a halloumi, a feta cheese. Because they're going to keep a long time. A goat's cheese. Which I haven't tried yet. Someone told me that was really nice with pear. So I've got some pears. I probably should do that. Some baby bells, sometimes just a little snack and grab, they're great. So I've got some of the cheese here. We cut off a chunk and grated it, that's what's left. There's some cannabis cheese left, which is my favourite. And Chris Amy likes these chili, well, those sweet chili little dip tub things. Obviously full of sugar, so I don't eat them, but they're not a bad little snack for her to have with some to take to school. So I've tried to encourage them to be sugar free, but we're not there yet. This is Kevin's Parmesan cheese, which I think you should have put into a closed bag. And this is our preferred sliced cheese, which is a Nimba natural sliced cheese. And oh, we've got a little stray leftover. The girls were having them in their lunch bag sometime. That is our cheese drawer. <laughs> and then the other vegetables. So we've got some capsicums. I'm working my way through mushrooms. I've got two bags of sprouts at the minute. Some leeks. I'm going to make potato and leek soup. Some asparagus and just a bit of carrot. Obviously, need to retop up the um, vegetable selections there. So on this drawer, we just have um, bottles of water, and I think Kevin might have bought this uh, fruit juice, fruit smoothie thing. I don't like those kind of things. I'd rather make my own fresh. And on the door of the fridge, we have some homemade almond milk. Not after we've got a butter, so that's the. Uh, the butter that we have, organic butter, and then we have this one for um, baking. Amy likes to bake a lot, um, so I'll try and keep one or two of them there. Then we've got our sauces. This is my favourite, the bone sucking sauce, which actually doesn't have sugar. It does have, what have we got in it? It's got molasses in it. So 
that's not too bad a one for me to have. Um, while I've got that out, I'll just show you Kevin's sweet chili sauce, um, the teriyaki sauce, a sweet soy sauce. Some of these we hardly ever use. The tomato sauce, the girls go through quite a lot of that. But a sweet chili sauce for um, serving like with spring rolls or something like that. Maple syrup I do use. The tamari sauce I use a bit of. So that's sort of sauces there. Then we've got the 2% milk, which as I said, what I'll have in my tea and Christy has. That's just um, some iced tea and some natural, uh, the healthier orange cordial that Christy likes. And then down here we have jam and marmalade, and they're just like the full fruit, full fruit one. I really like my raspberry, so it's 100% raspberries. Uh, oh no, it's not 100% raspberries, sorry, 55% raspberries and grape juice concentrate and fruit pectin. So I don't have a lot of that though, but I uh, might not even have it every week, but whenever I do have it. I thought these were all fruit. Isn't that funny? They've got other stuff in them. I need to check up on those. I probably should get rid of this because this is a, uh, a lemon, sorry, a lime cordial that the kids would pour on ice, you know, shaved ice kind of thing. They haven't probably done that in a year and a half or so. Uh, some lemon juice, uh, just as on standby. So I've got your crushed ginger, crushed garlic. Amy put in a request for corn relish. Again, I won't eat that because of the sugar content. I do like it. <laughs> we sell cream for a dip, but I won't eat that at the moment. But she requested that, so I've got that. And we've just got some whole grain mustard, which must have been probably for a recipe sometime or other. And I just threw out some Dijon mustard that had expired. So that's it for my fridge tour. Um, I'm not sure if you want to see the freezer or not. I guess let me know if you want to see the freezer and I can show you that another time. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye.